Where do you start with strumming patterns? If you're playing along to a song, it's going to have a certain pattern to the strum. How do you learn those? In this video today, I'll get you started with strumming. Hi, I'm Owen Vickers from Guitar Mastery Method. We have taught tens of thousands of guitarists all around the world just like you to improve their guitar playing. Just to get our head into the strumming game, what we're going to do is not even play a chord with this hand. We're just going to hold our fingers over the strings to deaden them. And what we're going to do is we're just going to play down strums. So just hit those in time, count in your head or out loud. One, two, three, four, and do a down strum on each one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we'll add in an up strum between each of those down strums. So if we're counting that out loud or in our heads, we go one and two and three and four and. So on each of those numbers, we do a down strum. And on the ands, we do an up strum. One and two and three and four and. All right, so now we've got the mechanics of our strumming hand going. What we're going to do is we'll play a chord. Down here, we're just going to play a G chord. And the strumming pattern we're going to do is down, 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 up, down. So the downs are all on the numbers, so one, two, three, four. And the up strum will be on the three and, so on the and between three and four. I'll show you. One and two and three and four and. So let's play that a couple of times. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now remember, start off slowly. If you've got a metronome, play along to your metronome at whatever speed you're comfortable with, and then speed it up gradually until you get to a faster pace. The next pattern, we're going to add in another up strum. So we're going to play down, 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 up, down, up. So let me show you a count along. One and two and three and four and. So we're just adding that extra up strum on the last and, so the four and. And I'm just playing that over an E minor chord here. Play it over any chord you like. Just choosing an E minor for this one because it's easy for our fingers. Don't have to worry too much. And we're not changing chords, so it's all about our strumming hand. Now, with your strumming hand, make sure that you're not too rigid, and that you're not tensing up. You want to stay relaxed, keep your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder all relaxed. And as you're strumming down, the pick will naturally want to give a little bit, which is good. You don't want to be too stiff with the pick because it's going to sound out the notes will be too loud and you may miss some strings. So just let the pick drag across the strings. And the same with the up strum. The pick's going to be tilted down a little bit. Just remember to stay relaxed. Another thing that's really important with strumming is dynamics. So changing the volume of the strums and adding in things like dead strums. Like that. So what I'm doing there is I'm hitting the strings with the pick and with the inside of my palm at the same time. So it just mutes them out. So if you do a strum, and then the next one do one of those dead strums. be a really effective technique. It's a nice percussive sound. Let's put a strum together using those deaden strums. So we're going to play down, then a deaden strum, then two up strums, and then a deaden strum. So let me just play that for you slowly. And a little bit faster.
As I mentioned before, changing the volume of your strums, or the attack that you put on those notes, can make a big difference. Let's try one of those strumming patterns and we'll accent that first strum by playing it a bit harder. I hope you enjoyed learning those strumming patterns and you can put them to use, playing along to songs or even writing songs of your own. If you could just go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, you'll be notified of all of our lessons coming out. Also, in the description box down below, I'll put a link to a guitar practice cheat sheet which will show you exactly what you need to be doing every time you pick up your guitar to practice. See you in the next lesson.